All right. Hello, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I'd like to thank you for joining us for this training session entitled Making More of Your Lead Machine. Uh, this session, we're going to cover how to add a couple different pages that are on the back end of your website already. We're going to discuss how to add any page you want to to your website, including drop-down menus, customized pages, and that sort of thing. Uh, in addition, after that, we're going to also go into how to add blog posts to your website, and then how to add widgets, which are items on the right side page of your website. We're going to teach you how to really just generally customize your site, change the colors, the graphics, and that sort of thing as well. So let's go ahead and get started here officially. Um, now, first, you'll want to log into your website, of course. You'll go to members.theshortsaleguide.com, and you'll click Login. Uh, you're going to be taken to the login page. Again, if you have any trouble logging in ever, you can always clear your cache or clear your browser history. Uh, once you log in, though, you can um, log in and enter your password here. Once you're logged into the site, um, you're going to want to hit the Edit My Websites tab here. You'll see that right here at the bottom. Now this, because of course I am an admin, it took me right to the admin page. But um, on yours, you'll actually hit the Edit My Site, and it will take you to a page that will have a link to your actual login for your actual Short Sale Lead Machine Agent website. Now, when you're on that site, that login page, which will look something like this, uh, you're going to want to, you might have to re-enter your login information right away. And uh, once you do that and you log in, uh, you're going to be prompted to go to your dashboard. Um, it'll take you right to your dashboard right away. Here, let me go to admin and log in to this site that I'm going to edit here. And again, I'm just going to run you through step by step. Um, if you want to make some of these changes as I'm doing them, one thing you might want to do is uh, do a split screen to where you have my screen on half of your page here. And of course, the, whatever you're editing on the right side of your screen here, if you choose to edit your website at the same time. But I would suggest is just to focus, pay good attention, and uh, we're going to really run you through how to make some of these changes to this site right away. First, let's go over our different pages on our site here. Um, you see there's a Pages tab. However, if you want to actually edit your menu, which is where your pages show up, you're going to want to go down to Appearances here and scroll over and click on your Menus button. And just to show you, too, your menus are, let's go to our live site here. Your menu is the tab or the tabs that show up at the very top of your short sale lead machine website. This is considered your menu here. Now again, we're going to teach you how to even add drop down menus to these as well in just a second. Now you're going to notice several things. Um, first, when your page comes up, you're probably not going to have um, you're not going to have the options available tab that I took out. But let's add a couple pages. A couple pages that you can actually add to your site automatically. We have the Options Available page and the Short Sale versus Foreclosure page. Uh, those are a couple of excellent resources that you can add to your page if you choose to. Let's go ahead and click those and add them to the menu. Again, all we did was check those off and add them to the menu. And you'll see these pages are immediately up here on our menu pages. These are actually about to be live on our site. We want to take this Options Available tab and we can drag these wherever we want to and drop them. Um, this is where they'll actually appear in the order that they're going to appear on our site. Uh, here's a Short Sale versus Foreclosure tab. You can also easily make a tab into a sub-tab. For example, we have helpful resources. We, if we put, drag it right underneath it to where you'll see it shows up just to the right of the actual main tab, this will be part of a drop-down menu for this helpful resources tab here. Let's just save what we've done and save our work already here just to show you a little more of what I mean. You'll see, obviously, the Options Available tab is added right here to this page. 
And you'll also see underneath Helpful Resources, we have the Short Sale versus Foreclosure page. Those are the two pages that are decent content and good content to add to your site that you may want to consider adding. Let's look at how we can also create a drop-down menu for your site as well. Um, you can use any pages that you create here, which we'll show you how to do momentarily. Let's take all of these government programs tabs here, and we're going to just make these into a drop-down menu here. We're going to click on those and add them to our actual menus. You'll see how they instantly appeared up here. Now let's take each one and, and drag them up here and make them sub-tabs of the government programs. Just like this, and you'll see again where we want them to show up just to the right of the uh, government programs tab here. We've got all four of these on here. Now if we were to save these, uh, we now have created a drop-down menu with all of those different government programs automatically on there. Let's just update this real quick so we can show you exactly what we mean here. Very good. Now we have all of those government programs that are automatically added to the site that are drop-down menus. Uh, next, let's talk about how to add an additional tab at the top of your site if you want that tab to actually be a link to another page or another site altogether. Um, you'll see on the still on the menu section under Appearance, we have a custom links page. Uh, for example, if you... Uh, you know, these sites, the short sale lead machines, are not geared towards buyer traffic. They're geared for sellers and homeowners in hardship. Uh, if you want to drive any consumers or visitors to your site, to your website that might be relevant to, say, buyers, right here you can type the URL or, or the actual page where you want to link them to maybe your main website or a home search, and you can title this buyers or title this tab home search, or we'll title it Find a Home. Now just as easy as that, we can go and we can add this to the menu here, and we're going to now see this tab appear right here. We're going to add it before the Contact Us tab here, and that will automatically appear. Now what I want to do next, I'm just going to take a, show you how to take tabs off of here as well. We just added the one for Find a Home. Let's just take off a couple tabs here that we might not want to show up. Um, we could take off the uh, options available by clicking to the right there and going to Remove It. We just remove the Options Available tab. Now it is always in our pages here unless we actually go and delete the page. Uh, let's take off the Short Sale versus Foreclosure tab as well just to keep it simple. Let's save this menu here and take another look at how this menu is going to actually look on our live website. Next you'll see that we did indeed add an additional tab here for Find a Home to where a reader can come and click on this and it will take them to another website. This one happens to take them to a home search. So you can add a tab for anything that you like. Uh, as well right there. Now let's talk about how to actually add additional pages to your short sale lead machine website. Um, we talked about the menu section here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to restore this real quick here. Let's get rid of the Find a Home tab here. Right? We're going to remove that one and that goes back to our pages. I like the options available one so I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that one on here. And we're going to put that one up here. I enjoy it being right there before the About Short Sales. And let's uh, just, I'm going to remove these sub-tabs of the government program. Again, uh, you can create your own sub-tabs if you want to have underneath About Short Sales, you know, and you want to create some dynamic content about short sales under there. You can do that as well when you like to. All right, so I'm going to save that menu there. Now let's talk about adding additional pages uh, to our site here. Um, we're going to go up to the actual pages section here. And right here we can click on and scroll over Add New. That will be to add a new page. Let's just go ahead and look at the pages that are on our site already here. You'll see these are all the pages that are on our site that are created automatically right away. 
um, one page that I happened to create a minute ago, and you can you can uh, you can go and create a page as you see fit. I'm just going to trash this one because I want to create one just like it for you. <laughs> is uh, we're going to create a page uh, titled Testimonials. This is another great page that you can put on your site that has some testimonials from homeowners who you've worked with. Um, here's one in particular I want to show you. Um, let me search this gentleman's site on Bing here. Uh, we're searching a short sale lead machine by typing in Las Vegas short sale specialist. And here you're going to see this gentleman has the number one spot for the term Las Vegas short sale specialist. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's click his site here. And he did something special on his site here. He created a tab that's called Short Sale Successes. Now, of course, this goes over uh, some of his testimonials and things like that that he's done. Um, uh, great, great content on here. And this just shows that he's created um, and, and really helped a lot of different people uh, close short sales and do short sales. One thing that I do suggest you might remove from your menu is the uh, My Blog tab. There really isn't a need to that unless you plan on doing a lot of blogging and adding a lot of blogging content. I would suggest moving the tab up here, removing the tab for um, uh, my blog, and adding in the other tab, for example, um, uh, options available or short sale versus foreclosure. One of those two tabs that we just showed you that you can easily add. Uh, next, here's where we are on Add Pages. You just want to do a title to your page right here. Um, here you can add your content as you see fit. Now, this is a full content management system here. I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to add images and that sort of thing in just a minute. But, you know, you can do what you like and choose any kind of font or writing you want right here. Um, you can change the colors of your font. You can fully edit your page here as well. Um, so certainly stop and take a little bit of time to customize your site if you choose to. Uh, once you do that, you can of course save this page. Let's just um, let's publish this page because it's not a blog. This is just a page, so this will not be live even though we've published it. Now we can go back down to under appearances. We can go back to our menus. And what we're going to find is we're going to find that testimonials page right there at the top. All we have to do if we wanted to add that is to check it off, add it to the menu, and of course choose wherever we want it to be located here. Um, that could be underneath the Contact Us page or it could be underneath anywhere, um, anywhere you choose. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, remove that from this one, just a demo that I wanted to show you. Um, I encourage you to be creative. You know, use your creativity to come up with some unique content and some unique things that you might want to see to your site. Uh, the more you put into this site, the more you'll get out of it. Um, other things we're going to teach you how to do next is um, we're going to teach you how to add blog posts and add content to your site. Um, it's essentially the exact same as adding pages to your website. Uh, you can just click on your posts, and of course you'll see all of the posts that are already on your short sale lead machine site. You can click up here to add a new one. Now in our uh, search engine optimizing your website for success, uh, um, SEO 101, your SEO 101 uh, session, we teach you a lot more about keywords and really doing search engine optimization to optimize each of your blog posts and your site in general. Um, this one will keep very simple. Uh, you can actually go and choose if you want this to be live or pending, whatever blog post you do. You can even choose if you want it to publish at a certain date and post on your blog You know, next week. You can also do that right here on the right column. Uh, there's a sticky post if you want it to appear at the top of your page. Now remember, you already have a sticky post at the top of your page, uh, which is, of course, entitled Short Sale Specialist. Uh, this is a, I suggest leaving this one at the top of your page here, because this is excellent content 
that people do read when they're on your site. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do after that is, of course, write your own content. I'm going to show you in just a second how to upload images and change your images, but you can get creative here and write any blog posts and blog content that you like. Of course, once you write it, feel free to share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we teach you much more about that in our um, uh, Social Networking 101 webinar. So let's go through here. We're going to go ahead again. You can change this, edit it, do what you like with it, publish it, save it as a draft for later if you choose to as well. Um, we're going to call blog post testing. The critical thing is, once again, is just to take the time to learn your site, become familiar with your short sale lead machine and what its capabilities are and what it can do. Um, there's some other things that we can teach you how to do. Um, underneath appearance, you can optimize and change many of these things under appearance. For example, if you want to change your background or your header image at the top. Now, we are going to provide in the near future with many additional header images you can choose from, such as this. Uh, let's look at a website that has changed a couple of those things right now. Uh, this particular person changed his header image. As you'll see in just a second, he, he changed the header image here, and he also changed his background right here on the right as well. Again, you can do this uh, as you see fit and as you choose to as well. So let's go back to editing our page here. All you have to do is just click under Appearance. You have your background, your header image. Um, you have your general theme options. Let's go to our theme options here, which this can let us choose uh, what colors we might want. Um, this will allow us to choose if we want our widgets or our sidebars to appear on the left, like this gentleman did on his site. He wanted his to appear on the left column. Uh, or many different little customizations and things, including the colors and the fonts that we want on our website, like the backgrounds, um, the, the writing styles, and things like that that show up on our site. So again, you can fully customize this and fully do whatever you choose with this site. Um, next, we're going to go and talk about widgets. Um, you see widgets are also underneath the appearances here on your right. Uh, widgets are the items that show up when you first set up your site on the right column here. Um, you'll see this site has not really added any widgets. I'm going to show you a site of mine uh, that has. Um, let me see our Orange Park site here. We're going to go and teach you how to add just a couple of widgets and a couple things right now because these widgets, um, a lot of them are code based. There are some things if you stop and look, like we're going to teach you how to add a few of these things right here real quick. Um, but when you're on this page, there's a lot of different things that you can add. Now here's what you do. These are all of your available widgets right here and available things and items that you can add. You have to drag one of these over to your sidebar or wherever you want to place it. Okay? So, for example, there are some great ones about uh, links. You can actually create your own links if you want to have a link, for example, to that says, you know, local school information. It links to your county school board or a link to, you know, home search or a link to my real estate website or a link to, uh, for example, this is a short sale site, a link to Fannie Mae or Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act, or uh, any of the uh, additional information um, that you can, you can choose. You can choose whatever links you, you like right there. Um, another one you might want to consider adding if you're doing a lot of blogging and you're using the blog feature, you'll want to uh, use the tag cloud. This will take all of the keywords from your blog uh, that you choose and put them on the right column as well. Those are very good for search engine optimization is your tag cloud. Uh, one, however, that we're going to do right now is I've got this text box already in here right now. Now I'm going to teach you how to add um, a couple different little extra widgets and banners. What I'm going to show you how to add are a few logos that we have. I'm going to teach you how to add a YouTube video real quick. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to add the site badge from the shortsaleguide.com um, if you have a profile on there. 
and I'm going to teach you how to add uh, short sale specials network logos. Um, one additional feature that we have that you're going to be able to do in the very near future, this is coming next week, guys, is you're going to be able to add all of your own designations. Now, we haven't announced this yet, but this, uh, this feature is just about completed. Uh, we will have a video. We will announce it next week. However, if you have SFR, uh, you know, any of the short sale designations are on here, realtor designations are on here, you just check them off. And you have these logos automatically right here. All we'll have to do is copy and paste this code into your site. So that's going to be added next week as well. Uh, we, there will be a video tutorial on there, and that will be an additional tab that will be right here underneath your website. Okay. So back to this. Let's talk about how to add some of these widgets here. Now, all we have to do is to get a text box and drag that little text box right down here to inactive widgets. Um, inactive widgets are just basically where we're editing them. You can remove them um, and, and keep the content on here. For example, if you've written a lot of content on here and you've added a lot of things but you don't want it to show up for a little while, just drag it over here and you can add it again later. All right, so let's do how to add these different widgets and things on here. I'm going to get rid of all this old content I've already added here. Now I'm going to go very quickly here, so please just, um, just pay attention and um, try to get it here and try to understand the gist of what I'm doing. First and foremost, we have this line of code here at the top. You're, you're going to want to write down this line of code. I like to put this code in here in the widget section because this will actually center your text and center any kind of widgets or items that you add on the page. Now what I mean by that is, you see how these are centered right here in this column? If we didn't put this code on, they're just going to show up on the left side. They're not going to be centered in this column here. So we have this text here. That's the P space style equals, and then in parentheses, text dash align colon. See the colon there? Center, comma, close quotation marks, close the other pointy thing, and that's it. Okay, so you'll, you will come back to this page in a second if you're not writing that down, though. Uh, next, let's go to members the short sale, or, or let's not members site. Let's just go to the short sale guide This is our free agent social networking site. Hopefully, you have a profile um, for www.theshortsaleguide.com. Okay, have me worried there. That's our big site there. <laughs> Um, what you're going to want to do on here, you'll see underneath the members page, there's add site badge. Or also underneath my page, there's also a site badge tab there as well. Again, you can add anything you want in this column. I'm just trying to teach you how to add a couple simple things if you choose to. Um, here's a, your site badge. You can pick a small one, medium one, or a large one. Let's do a large one here. Just show some friendly faces of people on our site. You can even choose what color you want the text to be. For example, you know, if we want to make the text kind of close to the color of the site, we can. Um, the background color as well. If we want something that kind of stands out a little bit, we can do that too here. I like to pick a light color there. That looks nice. Now, once we do that, we pick what size we want. You see at the bottom here where you have this code. This is all you got to do is get this ready to copy it. Let's copy that code in that box right here at the bottom. And again, just to reiterate, this is underneath my page on the shortsoguide.com if you have a profile set up on there. And you can click Add Site Badge there. And you can also invite friends and stuff to the site right there, too. Um, once we do that, all we have to do is paste that right in there. Now let's look and go ahead and save this here. And we're just going to save it, scoot it up there, and we're going to put it right under here. I like to put it under the Z social media buttons, uh, right under the sidebar, sidebar bottom. Okay, if you see that, your site will look like this when you set it up. And it should automatically be saved here. Let's, let's take a look at the, my, my site here to see how that shows up and what exactly will show up. It'll have your picture in there from your site. It'll, uh, it's, it's a neat looking widget there to add. It won't have mine. It'll have your picture on yours, okay? 
But uh, that's what we just added right there. It kind of just adds a little more, you know, professionalism to the site. Let's look at some other things that we can easily add to the site as well. On members.theshortsellguide.com, uh, we have some logos here. We're going to add some more logos here for you in the near future. But um, here's some logos you can easily add, like Short Sale Specialist Network logo here. We'll add one of those because I'm with the Short Sale Specialist Network. And there's also, if you're a preferred partner or official member, you can add those logos as well. And um, we can actually get that logo now. Let's take this box over here. Uh, we can just keep it right there. And we can add that right here as well. And let's do this. I entered a little P there, just to kind of leave a space between those two widgets. And we are going to now save that. And let's watch this. It's as simple as that. To add something else in that column right there. One more thing I'd like to teach you to add here are YouTube videos before we go. Now remember, we have an entire training webinar as well for YouTube, including a free non-branded commercial, an actual television commercial that we're going to teach you how to take it, edit it, and add your website and your contact info to it, and add it to YouTube under your YouTube account and help drive more traffic to your site. We're also going to teach you how to take that video and how to frame it into your website as well. So uh, again, this is a lot of neat things that we're teaching you in our other free uh, live uh, demonstration training webinars. So let's just go to YouTube right now. Um, I'm going to go here. You can, you can wait and do this on your own will. Uh, let's type in short sale specialist network. This is just a video of mine. Again, I, you know, we're going to have a great non-branded video that you can use in the future. Uh, if you're wondering some ideas of some things to add, uh, the U.S. Department of Treasury has some great short sale and default related videos that you can frame in and add. They're very good to add automatically. Um, if you're a distressed property expert, there's some decent videos that you can frame in as well. Okay, um, let's here. And actually, you can frame in anybody's videos off of YouTube that you choose to. <laughs> um, they don't, you don't have to be an a expert or have a brand or whatever to, to do that, OK? Um, you're going to click here on a Share button at the bottom of any video. You see at the Share button, below that, you have a link to the video if you want to share that, share it on Facebook, Twitter. What you want to do is click the Embed button. This is how you embed a video onto your website. Now, if you just take this uh, content right here, you're going to have a video that's big. It's 560 by 315 pixels wide. Of course, you can get one that's like a whole page size if you choose to as well here. Um, we're going to make a small video here, just 200 pixels wide, because we're going to add that to the right column in the right side. But if you want a blog post and you want to make a blog post, and you want to add a big video, you know, one of these sizes here, any size you want, this is where you'll do it, and it automatically gives you the right code right here. So you just copy this video right here, or this content, this code right here. We're going to go back to the widget section here, and then back at the bottom, we're just going to paste this code in here right now. Once we do that, of course, we can save this content here. And our content is good to go. All we have to do is just click the update page, and we're going to see we have some neat items on the right column of our blog, including this video that we just framed in right here as well. So there's a lot of different customizations, a lot of different things that you can do to your short sale lead machine website. Uh, I hope you take the time to customize your site, to learn some of the special features, and to uh, just try to get the most out of your site. You'll get out of it exactly what you put into it. But our goal is to provide you with the tools, the techniques, the technology, the tactics to drive tons of traffic to your website and to turn you into a short sale lead machine. Thank you again for participating in this